welcome back to Qatar. It's day two here in Doha and I'm heading out again to start exploring. I'm actually running a little bit late and I think the car's waiting outside. One second. Here we go. Hello, Cher from Travel and Cher. <laughs> I, I did you tell yeah. the story? <laughs> it's yeah. actually Mirella. But... Yeah, but people know me as Cher. <laughs> <laughs> and the other guys travel. <laughs> Thanks, travel. Travel. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Islamic Art Museum. Wait, oh no, I'm, I'm late again. Sorry. <laughs> it is hot. Pretty hot. This is the Islamic Art Museum that we're heading into over here. The MIA, the Museum of Islamic Arts. The Art Islamic Museum, AIM. That way. And this page of Quran is from the Arabian Peninsula. So this is a very old page of the Quran. It's the oldest they have here in the museum and in Qatar from the seventh century. And now I think I'm right here and saying that Islam started in the 7th century, so this is possibly one of the oldest pages of the Quran in the world. But yeah, that's one of the first Qurans which has been written. Okay. Not the first version, which is the original version, sure. or even the second, probably this is the third. Wow. Yeah. Okay. It's, uh, it's old. Yeah. Because when they started to write the Quran, I think it was in 620 something. This is in 630 something. So, so it's around 12, 15 years. So it's here. Yeah. Great, thank you. Check it out. This is the lobby of the museum. Look at that view. It's amazing. Right, I found this interesting. These helmets, you see the size of my hand, are much bigger than normal helmets. So you can fit a turban underneath and then you can put the helmet on top. Because it's always been 40 or 50 degrees here, so you would die in the heat, like literally, if you wore a helmet all day without something underneath. Just outside the museum, there is a view of the whole of Doha. Check it out. Here it is. So at every place we are greeted with Arabic coffee, which are meant to pair with dates. Arabic coffee and dates. Mm. It's good. That's always the extent of my food reviews, you guys know that. It's great. <laughs> We're now heading to a place called Banana Island, which, whoa look at that. Steamed up. That's as soon as you walk out into the heat. Now I'm gone. Ah. Even your glasses, straight away. <laughs> Look at that, wow. Right, you can sort of see me now. We're heading to Banana Island, which if it's anywhere near as exciting as it sounds, then you guys are gonna be blown away. Let's go find out. I'm, I have no idea what it's about. Ah. Ah, what do I do? Okay, no? Okay, thanks. 
Yeah, the welcoming party. So it turns out Banana Island is a resort, not an island full of bananas, as I thought. <laughs> we're gonna find out why we're here. So this is why it's called Banana Island, because it looks like a banana. Got a mezzo to start with some hummus, nice bit of salad. But the trick is not to fill up on the starter because it's so easy to eat everything here. But then we've got even more food coming next. Check out this spread. Good eyes. This is what we've got to tuck into. So I take back everything I said about not eating too much starters. <laughs> There's also a drink you find everywhere here. It's mint and lemon, and just like everything I review, it's good. My man. So, this is yours, I think. Thank you very much. I'll wait for mine. This is the Qatar barbecue. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Ooh, back on the boat. Check it out, we just got some sweet Banana Island swag. So, I have this. And one sec, you're gonna love it. It's a US banana, USB in the shape of banana. Joke credit. <laughs> How many giga bananas do you think are on it? One giga banana or two giga banana? Comment below. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, bonus. So even now, it's late at night. It's, was it eight or nine? It's nine. Nine? nine. It's almost ten and it's still so hot outside. Stepping out into the heat and then back into the AC of the car is really, really top. <laughs> so like I just said, it's ten at night and we're, we're not finished yet. We are heading to the market right now, which I think should be pretty interesting. They've put on a full day for us today and I don't know, let's find out where this leads. Last stop on the way back, we've come to Souk Wakif, one of the souks here, and we've just dropped into a falcon shop. So I've just found out that these falcons are used for hunting and also as a pet, and you can get all sorts of different priced falcons depending on their ability and how they look. Some of them have masks over their faces to stop them from hurting themselves and some of them don't. The main reason is is because they might get scared but then they're tied up and they could break a wing or something or also make a lot of noise. We're leaving now. Okay, we're leaving now. Very different to uh, anywhere I've been really. Selling falcons and horses just there. And I know, well, I'm fogging up a lot, but I wanted to say this. It's not. Look, there's a horse. Ah, uh, okay, so I got that wrong. These horses are all the king's horses, and they're all stabled here. It's the king of Doha's stables. So, Abdullah, how many horses do they have? Where? Here, how many horses are here? I don't know what number, but more than 25. Yeah. More than 25, yeah. okay. You can see here, 
there are loads of traditional chess sets. And that's because we were just walking past one of the sponsors of Mind Sports, which of course is who invited us here. So, yeah, that's funny. We were literally just walking through and bumped into them. It's the Mind Sports sponsors. Right, we were just walking through the souk and we came across this random shop which is a taxidermist with this. And so, excuse me guys, I need to get this for dramatic effect. Look at that. Whoa, box. Yeah, box down there. And... Sorry mate. This is all real. Uh -huh. Fish yeah. So we've just walked into an Almagilus, which is a, I, I don't know if I'm saying that right, I'm trying to, <laughs> in Arabic, but it means a sitting room where people can come, sit, relax, drink tea and coffee, and also play Dana in this one which is like a version of checkers and it also ties in nicely to the mind sports theme because you can play that there as well are at the mind sports yet uh not yet <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> gambia president yeah okay did he win or he has won ah, okay <laughs> but, you know, he ah really as well yes. yeah uh, <laughs> So people also come here to learn, and all of these books are free, including both the Quran and a book about the message of Jesus Christ. Thank you. You're Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. You too. So one thing I've just been told about the souks here is that everyone pretty much leaves their stuff outside, even when it's closed, and it's closing up now. That's because there's no real theft here, it's a safe area. I was also just told that if anyone was poor and needed food and didn't have the money to come and buy it, if they went to pretty much any one of these shops or market stalls and said, I'm hungry, I need food, then the owner would most likely feed them for free. Honestly, the whole of today has been really interesting. Being here in Doha and getting to experience all of this and learning what I've learned today and getting to share that with you is really what all of this is about. And it's really what's great about YouTube, I think, because I can show you this and you can make up your own minds about anything you see. And maybe you can't travel here, maybe you won't travel to Doha, but maybe it'll inspire you to as well and you get to see that through the power of YouTube. Yeah, really interesting day. And I'm gonna leave it there because we're about to head back to the hotel and it's late already. But we've got another day tomorrow, so check back for that. For now, I'll just say again, thank you for watching and this is my life.